How to Grow Lavatera, a Guide to Cultivating Beauty in Your Garden Lavatera, commonly known as tree mallow or rose mallow, is a lovely flowering plant that adds a burst of color and elegance to gardens. With its showy flowers and rapid growth, Lavatera is a favorite among gardeners looking to create vibrant and eye-catching landscapes. Here's a detailed guide on how to grow and care for Lavatera. Understanding Lavatera Varieties, there are several species and varieties of Lavatera, each with its unique characteristics. Common species include Lavatera trimestris, annual Lavatera, and Lavatera arborea, perennial Lavatera. Flowers, Lavatera produces large, cup-shaped flowers that can range in color from shades of pink to purple, red, and white. The flowers often resemble hibiscus blooms. Foliage, the leaves of Lavatera are usually palmate and lobed, adding to the plant's visual appeal. Planting Lavatera Selecting a location Sunlight, Lavatera thrives in full sunlight. Choose a location that receives at least 6 to 8 hours of direct sunlight daily. Soil, Lavatera prefers well-draining soil. It can tolerate a variety of soil types but thrives in loamy or sandy soil. Ensure good drainage to prevent waterlogging. When to plant. Lavatera can be planted in the spring after the last frost or in the fall. In warmer climates, fall planting is often preferred. Planting Lavatera. Space Lavatera plants about 2 to 3 feet apart, depending on the variety. Dig a hole slightly larger than the root ball, place the plant in the hole, and backfill with soil. Water thoroughly after planting. Caring for Lavatera. Watering. Lavatera prefers regular watering, especially during dry spells. Keep the soil consistently moist but not waterlogged. Mulching around the base can help retain moisture. Fertilization. Lavatera is not overly demanding when it comes to fertilization. A balanced, all-purpose fertilizer applied in the spring is usually sufficient for healthy growth. Pruning Pruning Lavatera can help promote bushiness and extend the flowering period. Cut back the plant by one-third to one-half in late winter or early spring. Deadhead spent flowers to encourage continuous blooming, staking. Some taller varieties of Lavatera may benefit from staking, especially if they are prone to flopping over. Use stakes to support the plant without constricting its growth. Harvesting Lavatera Lavatera is primarily grown for its ornamental value, and harvesting is not a common practice. However, you can cut the flowers for floral arrangements to bring their beauty indoors. Common Issues and Solutions Powdery Mildew Lavatera is susceptible to powdery mildew, especially in humid conditions. Provide good air circulation, space plants adequately, and treat with fungicides if necessary. Aphids Aphids can be a common issue. Use insecticidal soap or a strong jet of water to remove aphids from the plants. Yellowing leaves Yellowing may indicate nutrient deficiencies. Amend the soil with a balanced fertilizer to provide the necessary nutrients. Propagation Lavatera can be propagated from seeds or cuttings. Collect seeds from mature plants or take softwood cuttings in the spring. Plant seeds directly in the garden or start cuttings indoors before transplanting. Lavatera is a delightful addition to any garden, offering vibrant blooms and a relatively low-maintenance nature. With proper care and attention to its specific needs, you can enjoy the beauty of Lavatera as it graces your garden with its charming presence. Whether you choose an annual or perennial variety, Lavatera is sure to captivate with its stunning flowers and lush foliage. Happy gardening!